I find it sexy because I was always a builder. I always knew how to build on time, on budget, and that's what we want here. Oh, it's sexy, all right. Aaron Wren joins us. He is a senior fellow on infrastructure at the Urban Policy at the Manhattan Institute. Aaron, welcome to Big 550 KTRS. Thanks for having me on. So initially, what are your thoughts as Donald Trump talks about this new, uh, this new proposal? It's interesting that he refers back to being a builder because he's taking a page out of his real estate development playbook and that he wants the federal government to put in uh, a relatively small amount of money, $200 billion, compared to the $1.3 trillion he hopes to leverage in outside funding. Uh, in order to get to this $1.5 trillion total. So a lot of what he's doing is providing incentive matching grants, about half of the the proposal is for incentive matching grants, that states, localities, or even private entities could come forward with new forms of revenue uh, in order to invest in infrastructure. And then as part of that, they would get this 20% uh, incentive match uh, from the federal government. That's a little bit uh, different than what's historically been done with highways, where the federal government was picking up 80 percent of the tab. Uh, This is a a much smaller portion, so it would be interesting to see whether this would really be enough of an incentive for some of these states and local governments uh, to come up with these new revenue streams. Yeah, so let me, me, Aaron, let me me drill down on that. Um, Is 20 percent of the cost of a new highway, a bridge, a road, a tunnel – is 20% paid by the federal government enough of an incentive for some of these states that are strapped for cash to raise funds to fix the roads? Well, it remains to be seen. Uh, of course, that's, that's, that's the plan. The, the plan would give states additional tools to raise funding. One of the things that it would permit is to take existing interstate highways and convert them into toll facilities. Uh, So that would be one potential source of revenue that wouldn't involve raising the gas tax. That's the sort of thing that's uh, being looked at more anyway as we move towards things towards electric cars or super fuel efficient vehicles where, you know, the gas tax isn't really raising the revenue that it used to. Uh, So there are are various ways that that people might do it uh, to to raise the funds. Uh, What are the Democrats saying about this? Well, right now they are very, very down on the plan. Uh, I would expect them to be basically down on anything the Trump administration does. Obviously, the politics in Washington are are going to be tough. One thing I will say is Chuck Schumer, the uh, Democratic minority leader in the Senate, has a very, very high infrastructure priority of his own, which are some new rail tunnels under the Hudson River in New York City. That's like a 20 to $30 billion project, and they were looking for a lot of federal help with that. Uh, so there are some incentives for him to cut a deal. Uh, but, you know, obviously the, the Democrats are really going to be pushing back on not wanting to give Trump a win. Are they going to give him 20 percent or, or are they going to give Schumer and the big dig of uh, <laughs> New York a lot more than 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 20 percent? Right. Yeah, I, I think originally that they were hoping to get around a third from the federal government. But, uh, you know, we, we would have to see uh, how, how that turned out. That would be the type of project I would think would be would be you would want to have an incentive for, you know, that these these New, Jer- New York and New Jersey would come with new revenue and the federal government would yeah. make a match. So I would certainly think it would be a, a qualifying project under the plan. Uh, Donald Trump said he wants to reduce the time from the drawing board to the shovel. Uh, you know, uh, certainly we can speed up the process, but um, can you really get it down to one or two years? Is that possible? That's ambitious. Although I would point out, in the 1970s, you know, when we already had the environmental review process in place like we do today, we did complete these environmental impact statements in about two years. Uh, The amount of time has been going up and up and up. Part of that is to defend against litigation because opponents, some of whom are just flat-out NIMBYs, are always suing, claiming you didn't study the project enough. So the study length of study has been going up. There are many other reasons uh, so uh, some of the proposals to get that down involve uh, putting strict timelines on litigation and other things, one agency, one decision. You know, the Obama administration and Democrats have also looked at this because, you know, it, 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 it affects priorities of theirs like transit systems. You know, when it, it takes eight to ten years to do a study before you can build a transit system, they don't like that. Everybody recognizes it's a problem. The question is, can you, can you fix it, just being the nature of bureaucracy, 
and do that in a way that still protects the environment and other considerations that we have. Democrats also uh, are big unions or unions support Democrats. Union love roads. You would think this would be bipartisan to because it sort of helps everybody out. Well, infrastructure has traditionally been bipartisan. Um, you know, this obviously there's a lot of uh, you know, and the politics have continued to get worse and worse uh, in Washington. And this does represent quite a departure from how things have historically been done. Uh, the Democrats are probably going to want to continue to see a much more strong federal share of spending, for example. But those are the types of things that could be negotiated. Mm, interesting. Aaron Wren with us, senior fellow at the Manhattan Institute on Urban Policy and Infrastructure. Aaron, thanks for your expertise. Have a good day. Thanks for having me on. You betcha.